hello guys i hope you are having a awesome day so i am back at you again with another diy project and this time we're going to be constructing another centerpiece we're going to be using mainly dollar tree items and um, i'm going to be using one large vase that i got from the thrift store so what you're going to need is they have these in the large size and the small size these little fish bowls at the dollar tree you're going to need four of the large size fish bowls and two of the large size fish bowls okay or any combination that you want you can use three of the large size and three of the small size is totally up to you but I think I'm going to end up using four of these of the large ones so I can get some height and then I'm just going to use two of these at the very top okay so we are going to be building a centerpiece upward this is a very large type um, fishbowl type vase that I got from the Goodwill you can find vases like this all day long in the thrift store as long as it has a nice round shape and it complements the other bowls from the Dollar Tree and it has some height you can use it okay so you can easily find a um, a glass bowl like this a, flor a floral bowl flower bowl you can easily find this at the thrift store for pennies on the dollar you can pick up something like this for 99 cents up to four bucks okay so it's very cheap very economical and um, this is going to give us a lot of height so what I'm going to do first off is I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to take all of these vases and I'm going to take them outside and I'm going to spray paint them with Kryolan Master Color Black Matte. And I'm going to spray the inside of all of these bowls. Okay, I'm not going to spray them on the outside. I'm going to spray them on the inside because they will scratch off if you spray them on the outside. You're also going to need some hot glue. You're going to need some E6000, of course, because once we get everything sprayed, then we're going to assemble it and put it together with our E6000. You're also going to need one of these shelf liners from the Dollar Tree, the non-slip shelf liner. You will need this as well. You're going to need some florals. These are the mini roses that the Dollar Tree sells. And... Um, they're not the large roses, they're actually the mini roses, okay? And I will probably leave a link to the, um, I'm going to go ahead and link, uh, leave a link to the SKU number so you'll know exactly which ones I'm talking about, but these are the mini roses. I've got three in my hand, but you will probably need, I would say maybe about 10 to 15 of these, okay? Then you're also going to need some large roses. You're going to need some large red roses. I only have two here, but I anticipate if you do this centerpiece the way that I've done it, that you will probably need quite a few of these, depending on how big you want the top arrangement to be. Okay, you may not want it to be as full as mine's because you don't want to use as many flowers. That's why I really don't do floral arrangements um, I just show you how to make the centerpiece and then you can figure out how you want to put your flowers together because you may not want to use as many flowers that as I used you may want to use less because you have to do more tables okay you have to use it for more tables so you want to be more economical alright so you're going to end up using less flowers so that's why I show you what I've done and then you can go ahead and do something similar that fits in your budget but um, I will tell you I'm not sure if they sell these anymore but these are some really really pretty roses they're about three and a half to four inches in width and I got these from Walmart they're two dollars each if you get the very short stems like what I have and don't get the long stems if you get the long stems they're like three dollars a piece or something like that but if you get the short stems they're two dollars so I bought a bunch of these because they were so very, they were so affordable two dollars a pop you can't beat it so what I'm getting ready to do is go ahead and take all of my glass pieces outside and I'm gonna go ahead and start spraying uh, spraying my stuff down with this black matte uh, spray paint <laughs> Guys, make sure. 
sure that you are spraying the inside of your uh, bowls. Do not spray on the outside. Spray on the inside. Okay, guys, so we are back, and what we have completed is painting all of our glass bowls, okay? So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to simulate putting this together um, because I want to put it together off camera to make sure that I do a good job. And um, if I put it together on camera, I feel like things might get a little sloppy. So I want to be in controlled environment, so I'm going to do it off camera. But I'm going to simulate it here to show you how we're going to build this up into a centerpiece. So what we're basically going to do is start with our large, largest piece first. And we're going to turn this upside down. So make sure you have a similar bowl like this. Um, that has a nice round shape to it so that when you turn it around you get a lot of oval going on on the bottom okay and uh, of course we're going to use E6000 this is what you will need to do this project there might be some better adhesive glues out there that you would prefer to use that's up to you but I'm going to stick with the tried and true method I don't have time to be fooling around with other glues to see if it's going to stick so we're not doing that so we're going to use E6000 and uh, basically what you want to do is make sure that you put a generous amount of E6000 on your base. You've got plenty of base here so just put as much as you want. Just make sure you stay away from the edges so that when you put down your first piece it is not, the glue is not bleeding outside and getting on the other base. So you want to just center all your glue in the center and keep it away from the edges okay so it won't bleed over so this will be the first piece that you put on and uh, as always you want to wait a couple of hours probably would be good to wait maybe about 12 hours before you actually put the other piece on then what you want to do is go ahead and also put your glue on the second on excuse me on the third piece okay and you've got a really small rim right here so you have to kind of sort of be careful when you get ready to put the other piece on there you want to make sure that you use your E6000 and put it around the outside of the rim I'm sorry the outside of the rim okay because this kind of fits right down inside of the other bowl which is great that gives you way more chances for this thing to adhere properly so put your E6000 on the outside rim okay and then set it down inside same thing with the other large one put the E6000 on the outside rim set it inside okay and then I would stop and I would let this whole thing just kind of bond for about 24 hours I would not try to put the rest of the pieces on there I would just leave it like this wait 24 hours preferably 48 hours before you start putting the other pieces on. You want to kind of get this thing to, um, you want it to glue and you want it to adhere in stages. You don't really want to just pile it all on top of each other and then wait for it to adhere. Just do it in stages. Trust me, I think that would be the best way to go. So give this about 24 to 48 hours before you actually start putting the other three pieces on there. And then the same process, putting the glue on the outside rim. And then uh, putting your last large piece on top. Again, putting more glue on the outside rim. And then putting your two smaller pieces on there. Okay, or just look to see where this bowl will match up. Okay, so that you put the glue where you're supposed to in order for it to bond. And then you'll be putting your last piece, okay? And I want to be careful because I do not want this to fall. And so this is what that would look like once you have it all bonded together, okay? Guys, when you start building the centerpiece up, make sure that you're taking your time. And every time you put a bowl on top of another bowl, use a leveler to make sure that it is being done straight keep checking to make sure that as you add the bowls onto each other 
that you are testing it with the leveler to make sure that it is leveling correctly before the glue starts to harden up. The adjustment time of making sure that the bowls are leveled is before the glue gets super tacky and you cannot move it anymore. Okay guys, so I am back. Excuse my grandma hat, because I am a grandma, but excuse my grandma hat. It's super, super cold outside. It's really, really cold. And I've got to go back out and run some errands, so I'm keeping my little wool hat on, guys. So, excuse me. You know I'll be looking crazy anyway when I come on these videos. <laughs> Okay, you're not going to get me all, I'm not going to be glamped up in these videos because I'm working hard, I'm doing DIY projects, and I want to be comfortable. Alright, so here we have it guys, our masterpiece is completely done. Um, like I said, you want to wait 24 hours to 48 hours for everything to set. Everything has set. It looks amazing. Um, I'm going to flash up what size this is. I always forget to measure the size before I actually sit down in front of the camera. But I'm thinking that this is probably maybe about 28 inches. It's close to 30 inches, guys. That's the reason why I use so many of these uh, round jars. Not jars, but round, um, I call them like little fish bowls. The little fish bowls, candy jars, fish bowls from the Dollar Tree. Um, that's why I use so many of them because I really wanted some height. And now we're going to get to the good part, which is actually um, going ahead and getting our full arrangement together to put onto our brand new centerpiece stand, or centerpiece vase rather. And um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use some of this black sequins. I got a, I got some black sequins on a roll from Hobby Lobby. I will link it in the description bar below. But um, I'm going to use a little bit of this black sequence to just kind of go around some of the rough edges where you might uh, see some glue because um, I did get a little sloppy. So I'm just going to go around and I'm going to cut a piece of this black sequence off and I'm going to attach it with some hot glue. So if that's something that you want to do that's totally optional, this is a great way to just kind of cover up. Um, any glue or anything like that that's showing and it gives you a more of a finished look okay so I'm going to do that real quick and then I'm going to show you how we're going to make our our floral uh, we're going to drape some flowers around this and so I guess you can call it like a little floral runner that we're going to wrap around this centerpiece so I'm going to show you how to do that in a second so as you can see guys I have made this floral runner it's 47 inches long because I wanted a lot to be able to wrap around our uh, centerpiece face. I made this with, I'm going to say I probably used about 30 of these Dollar Tree flowers. These are the mini roses that I showed you earlier. This is basically the flowers that I use to construct this floral runner here that we're going to wrap around our vase. So it's 47 inches long. It's almost 50 inches long and you probably would need about 30 of these to get this effect. Okay. Um, so basically how you're going to do that is once again you're going to go ahead and use this non uh, non slip shelf liner. Okay. And you can get this from the Dollar Tree. Alright. And uh, you want to cut it as long as you need to cut it in order to use it. I just cut a very small piece. This is what it looks like. I cut a real small piece because I just wanted to show you basically what you needed to do. Um, I'm going to pop a couple of flowers off of here, but you want to make sure that you take all the flowers off of the stem. You only want the heads of the flowers. You're going to take your shelf liner and basically start with about three roses okay and I'm gonna say this is probably maybe two inches in width I'm gonna say it's probably a two inches or close to two inches and uh, you can make it a lot thinner and uh, what you're gonna do is take your flower and just push it through one of the holes in the shelf liner see how that works I'm gonna take another one 
put it towards the end. I actually ended up using three flowers per row. Here's the other one. Okay. And then I put one in the middle. Okay. So I used three rows of mini roses. You want to make sure that you turn it around and push these pieces all the way in. Okay. And then use your hot glue gun and apply hot glue to just seal it so that it doesn't move. Okay. So you want to apply your hot glue um, basically around the, the uh, green stems. You don't apply it over the holes just in case you ever want to take this and dismantle it and use these roses you can but uh, go ahead and apply your hot glue and this will keep your flowers in place so this is what that looks like and uh, that's three rows of mini roses and then you just continue it until um, you are completely done and by the time you're done with this it should look like what we have right here because what's going to happen is and as you can see I have three rows of flowers they're a little sloppy but there's three rows so what's going to happen is this is just going to kind of wrap itself around it itself um, it's just going to fold onto itself and it's going to make a nice nice runner so this is what that looks like that's what you're going to end up with once you get done okay so you just take your time make sure you leave a little bit uncovered so that this is the part that you actually attach to the centerpiece but yeah so this is what you're going to end up with once you're done and this is awesome and we're going to go ahead and wrap this around our base and then we're going to put our centerpiece on top and we will be done so I'm going to use some uh, double sided tape and I'm also going to use some black masking tape to um, attach our, our floral runner here. Okay, so we have successfully wrapped our um, floral runner around our vase and again I used uh, double sided tape and I also use some black masking tape. I use the black masking tape at the top and I use the double sided tape at the bottom. Okay so now I'm going to go ahead and put my pre-arranged floral arrangement up at the top. Um, I'm not going to go over putting the floral arrangement together because you know that's not what I do. Alright guys so here is my floral arrangement. I'm going to go ahead and put this on top of our centerpiece okay guys so we have a completed project here um, I absolutely love this I really really love the way this came out the floral runner just gave it that extra something um, and that's exactly why I wanted to do this face that long or rather that tall so that I could get that nice cascading effect, effect with the floral runner and I think that really tops it off and it just makes it really look luxe and it makes it look lush and uh, this is just a really phenomenal centerpiece so let's total everything up and I'm not going to include the flowers guys because you can make this as thick and as lush as you want or you can scale it back a little bit so that the florals are not as pricey I'm just going to give you a quote on the base like I always do so I used two small uh, fish bowls from the Dollar Tree. I used four large fish bowls from the Dollar Tree. Um, I got the bottom large uh, bowl from a, a base, rather, base type bowl from the Goodwill. I think I paid, paid about $2 for that, okay? So total was $8 just for, um, just to get the glass pieces and put them together with E6000. And then, of course, the paint was $3.95. You have the shelf liner from um, the Dollar Tree. And so total to do this base, um, if you want to add like a little bit of embellishment on there, you can. I'm not going to, to include the price for that because that's optional. So total for this base was $13. So to make a 28-inch really pretty glossy black base, $13, okay? 
using one piece from the thrift store and the rest of them from the Dollar Tree. That's it, all right? And then, of course, the floral runner is up to you. It depends on how long you want the floral runner. I ended up spending about $30 to make the floral runner. And then the top centerpiece, that is just packed with roses I cannot even give you a price for that you can probably duplicate a look like that way less than what I spent okay so that's it guys I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and as always don't forget to rate and subscribe don't forget to follow me on my social media accounts make sure that you give this video a thumbs up please rate the video and share it that's very very important and I will see you guys in the next DIY video take care bye bye <music>